Hello everyone, and welcome to the next edition of the Holland Land Office Museum's Artifact Video Series. My name is Ryan Duffy and I'm the director of the museum, and this week we're going to talk about another Civil War individual related here to Batavia, though never lived here in Batavia, uh, and actually fought on the opposite side of many of the men who fought in Genesee County. This week we're going to talk about Major Philemon Tracy, uh, who served in the 6th Georgia Infantry, and uh, was a Confederate soldier, but is buried here in Batavia, and quite possibly could be the uh, farthest north uh, Confederate soldier to be buried uh, from the Civil War. So we're gonna go into the life and military career of Philemon Tracy and how he ended up here in Batavia after he was killed during the Civil War. Philemon Tracy was born on June 27, 1831 in Macon, Georgia. His father, Edward Dorr Tracy, was a prominent citizen of Macon and served as its mayor, as well as in the state legislature and a prominent judge. And his older brother, Edward Dorr Tracy Jr., also served in the Civil War uh, and commanded a brigade uh, from Georgia and Mississippi and was actually killed in battle at Port Gibson in 1863. Now, Philemon, as a young man, would actually uh, come up to Batavia to visit his uncle, Phineas Tracy. Now, Phineas Tracy was a prominent lawyer here in Batavia and also served as a congressman from the area for a brief time. Uh, and he often came up during the summers to escape the ex uh, excruciating heat down in Macon. Uh, he went to Yale and graduated uh, with a law degree in 1850 and then became the editor of the Macon Telegraph in the mid 1850s uh, up into the late 1850s and was actually rather controversial with some of his views and viewpoints that he published in the paper at the time. He then was elected to the state legislature in 1859, but resigned with the coming of the Civil War. Now, he was not your prototypical soldier, as he was severely nearsighted and also walked with a, a limp, but he was still elected to be a commanding officer of the 6th Georgia Infantry uh, and was promoted to the rank of major uh, in command of the unit, serving uh, as a second in command. Now, Philemon would actually be wounded at the Battle of Seven Pines in 1862 uh, when a bullet went into his upper leg, uh, and he was actually sent home to Macon to uh, heal and would actually return back to his unit the day before the Battle of Antietam uh, on September 16th, 1862, and his unit would be one of the first into the battle the following day on what is known as America's bloodiest day. And Philemon would actually be one of the first casualties to occur during that battle uh, from the 6th Georgia. Now, the lieutenant colonel would actually be killed before him and Philemon would be required to take over, but then would be shot uh, in the leg and would sever his femoral artery and he would eventually bleed out and die on the field. Uh, he would be one of 23,000 soldiers killed on that one day of battle. Now, words reached afterwards uh, to his uncle Phineas uh, of Philemon's uh, passing during the battle, and he was very distraught because he, there wasn't necessarily family left to send him back to Macon. So he sent uh, an emissary down to the battlefield and had Philemon's remains collected up and brought back here to Batavia to be buried in the family plot. Now, it was not uh, a simple situation as upon uh, digging up the remains, they needed to pass him off as a Union soldier to, in order to get him past uh, the Union lines and back up north here. Uh, eventually, uh, and then he would be laid to rest uh, in the Batavia Cemetery here on Harvester Avenue. Uh, and for a very long time, it was not recognized that he was actually a Confederate soldier, not a Union soldier, uh, until somewhat recently. Uh, when uh, Confederate flags would be placed on uh, his grave, as well as a plaque would eventually be erected as he was a veteran of the Civil War. And today he is now honored more as a combatant of the Civil War, though he did fight for the Confederates. And it is believed uh, that he is the uh, farthest north of a Confederate soldier to be buried uh, from the Civil War, and most definitely one that would be, was transported and not just uh, buried where maybe they ended up living. Uh, so it was a very unique uh, situation uh, for Philemon. And 
It's very unique to have a Confederate soldier buried right here in Batavia. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Holland Land Office Museum's artifact video series and learned a little bit more about Major Philemon Tracy, the Confederate buried here in Batavia, and his connection to here to Batavia. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the rest of them in our series. We're over 140 videos now, uh, as well as any other videos that we have on our YouTube channel, including any of our guest speakers and concerts. Uh, and if you like it, give them a thumbs up or even subscribe to the channel as it does help us out a little bit and get you notified quicker when we do release new material. But as always, the best way to learn more about any of the stories that we share in these videos is to stop by the museum and see them for yourself as we'll be able to share even more information as well as show you some of these artifacts up close and personal. And if you really find our material interesting and want to support us, the best way to do that is to become a member of the museum and you can find all that information uh, on our website. 